we're excited to open uh, Somewhere Over El Arcoiris, an exhibition uh, that is really MOLA's first to include um, uh, exclusively uh, Southern California artists, a uh, number of artists that identify as Ch uh, Chicano artists, uh, all Latino here from uh, Southern California, from the LA area. Uh, to my right here, we, we, the exhibition kicks off with, um, uh, with Frank Romero, with Carlos Almaraz, really um, the, uh, the big names of Chicano art in, in the 70s, uh, artists who, um, uh, who really made a, uh, made a big stamp, made a mark with, uh, with their styles. And that's where the exhibition kicks off. Um, we have some cross-cultural connections here. Um, behind me, kind of a mix of, uh, you know, kind of using the grid system to uh, show violence that could be anywhere in the world, here in LA, uh, in the Middle East. And so uh, that's, why, that's what this piece here uh, behind me, uh, by Jose Ramirez, is, is all about. Um, in the far corner there, we have, uh, we have other works here that integrate uh, works by Chicana artists as well. Um, there's Yolanda, Yolanda Gonzalez here. Uh, Chicano is a term that's very interesting here because you have artists who, not just artists, but um, you have musicians, you have um, everyday folks who identify as, as Chicano for one reason or another. And uh, it's a term that, um, because of its history, uh, it comes with um, uh, comes with really a vast um, uh, a vast amount of um, uh, cultural baggage in a way, and, and uh, good and bad. I mean, uh, the term Chicano, of course, um, you know, is. is uh, it's a term that you would have seen used in, in California, in Texas, in Chicago, uh, throughout the 60s and 70s, and um, it's it's a it's a term that evokes labor rights. It's a term that evokes a political, a social struggle. Um, it's uh, it's not it's not a category on on the U.S. Census. It's uh, it's a self-identified uh, term. It's a term that Latinos that we use to, to identify one or the other as uh, behind a cause. This is a very iconic piece. I mean, this is from Frank Romero, who is the elder statesman of the Chicano artists. And it was created in the 80s, um, I believe after a recent trip from Mexico, which had been, I think, one of his early trips to Mexico. And for him, for many years, Mexico was this kind of exotic land that no one had, that he had never really explored, um, having come from a Latino family, a Mexican family, but Frank is very American. And like many Chicanos, we have a foot in one door and a foot in the other. And so he grew up in the eastern part of Los Angeles, Boyle Heights, East Los Angeles, and his experience of street culture was there. So when he goes to Mexico and experiences the, something that's very similar, um, he comes back realizing that things are not very different there or here, and um, that's what he created here as part of his experience from being there.